this cop, you know, because I don't want you to be kept back from your work for too long. <laughs> it's good to be here where I once used to work. And to be here in what would have been Norton Company's 125th anniversary. And to be surrounded by these great buildings. And to see the good people that work in those buildings. And uh, when I look at my family's connection here, it started, of course, with my grandfather, who was uh, the man who built the first plant here. And uh, he worked here for 25 years before he died in 1920. And my father had already begun under him and worked here for somewhere around 60 years. Nobody could hire him and nobody could fire him. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, I was lucky to be here only for only 44 years. And if we add the three of us together, we put in 139 years of service to this great company. You know, you know I think it's wonderful that uh, Senegal Band is honoring Norton's history with it. An occasion such as this. But our 125 years are small potatoes when you realize that one of Senegal Bath's founding companies manufactured the marvelous glass mirrors for the French royal palace at Versailles during the reign of Louis XIV over 300 years ago. And we're pretty small stuff here. <laughs> Unlike so many American companies who have overpaid their executives, who failed to keep their products competitive, and who failed to understand the problems of their employees, Norton was known for being a really good corporation. And in its sales force were truly responsible, and in its have I got something wrong here? I guess not. Uh, anyway, I realized that people in its factories and in its offices and in its sales force were truly responsible for the company's success and deserved not only to be paid well, but to be recognized for designing, producing, and selling the very best products to all its customers.